Hello, good afternoon, and welcome back to Silga's Helfins. In, la in my last video, I, um, I treated the iron deficiency. The iron deficiency is uh, very often, uh, I don't find it alone, isolated only iron deficiency, but together with other deficiencies. One of these um, very frequent deficiencies is vitamin D deficiency. I, would, uh, I want to treat today. Vitamin D deficiency is widespread in the population and associated with many symptoms. These include bone and muscular pain, sometimes similar to rheumatic diseases, muscle weakness and psychological symptoms that could be similar to depressive disorders and can even be confused with these. Severe vitamin D deficiency can increase the risk of uh, rachitis in children and osteomalacia in adults. Often vitamin D deficiency is associated with other deficiencies such as iron deficiency treated in my last video and vitamin B12 deficiency which will be treated in my next video. Um, which is why these values should always be examined in any periodical laboratory control especially when the symptoms, um, above up, uh, the symptoms I mentioned are present. Vitamin, B, uh, vitamin D is uh, formed by the skin when exposed to the sun. Lack of exposure to the sun during the winter months in people with poor outdoor activity may result in vitamin D deficiency. The skin type also plays an important role. The darker the skin is, uh, more sun is uh, necessary um, to form vitamin D because darker skin filters more X-rays, uh, what's it say, X-rays, sun rays. Um, this uh, should be considered in dark-skinned persons, uh, patients who have moved uh, from sunny areas to the north. Another form of vitamin D deficiency may be due to decreased dietary increase uh, intake. Um, for example, in celiac people. Vitamin D deficiency leads to problems with the bone metabolism. The bone matrix is insufficiently mineralized in vitamin D deficiency and the formed bone is less resistant. This is uh, important in children who grow and also in, um, in adults. Uh, this is important at any age, but especially in childhood and postmenopausal women. With vitamin D deficiency, less calcium is absorbed with the diet. Therefore, you should always pay attention to a sufficient vitamin D content when calcium is given. Calcium fulfills many important functions in our body. In the meantime, several scientific studies have shown that vitamin D deficiency also plays a role as a risk factor in other diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, cancer and immunologic diseases. There's also a connection between vitamin D deficiency and depression, which will be discussed in one of my next uh, videos. The therapy of vitamin D deficiency is uh, very easy and it's uh, not expensive. Consists in the usually oral substitution of vitamin D. This should uh, take place only after previous measurement of uh, vitamin D level um, and only after consultation with a physician. Uh, this because vitamin D is a lipophil vitamin that uh, given in ex taken in excess cannot be eliminated by the kidneys. Vitamin D is a vitamin which can also accumulate in the body and can have toxic effects in excess. Okay, I hope this was um, helpful information about vitamin D, vitamin D deficiency and um, possible symptoms. I um, thank you for watching this video and we see each other the next time.